Hello everybody, hola a todos. It is Vinis Duende here and I am posting this video uh, because of a request by Eduardo T123455556 about my arpeggio tutorial uh, based on the uh, Call of Cthulhu by Metallica and uh, here it is. I hope you enjoyed it. I tried to make it as uh, uh, as uh, detailed as possible. Should be should be good good enough for you to learn this cool way to practice arpeggio. So let's move on to the video. Okay, let's start with the uh, fingerings here. Yeah? So the first position here is uh, with the index finger on the fifth fret of the first string here and your middle finger on the sixth fret of the second string here and your ring finger on the seventh fret of the third string here. Fourth string free here. Okay, and then the pattern uh, goes like this. So you start with the thumb, then you play the first string with the ring finger, and then you play the third string with the index finger, and the second uh, second string with your middle finger. So and after this you use your ring finger and little finger here and do this kind of thing. So basically what you do here you move the ring finger the seventh fret of the fourth string here, played with the thumb, and then you have your ninth fret of the third string with your little finger here. And while you do this, you hold these two notes all the time here. So this would sound like this. And after you play these notes, you play uh, the first string and the second string with your index and middle finger. So, so that's the pattern of the the first part uh, of this arpeggio practice. So. And then basically use the same pattern, but have uh, it, it's actually a little bit easier from here. So you start from this chord, and you take this kind of chord after this. So you have a two strings barre here with your index finger on the sixth fret and your uh, middle uh, your middle finger on the seventh fret here on the third string so and then you have the same pattern uh, but you have your uh, ring finger here on the what is this wait wait a second 8th fret 
here on the fourth string and then the little finger on the ninth fret uh, of the third string so but the pattern is the same the exact same pattern but two frets higher and back to the original where we started This part uh, goes like this but after this after you play the first string with your ring finger here and then you play the fifth fret with your middle finger here and uh, have your index finger take it here And then you take the sixth fret with your middle finger here and play uh, the second second string with your middle finger here and the uh, fourth string three with your thumb so so that's basically the first part it's a really nice really nice practice and a warm-up uh, for arpeggio After that, uh, we go to the second part, and this is pretty simple as well. So basically, you have your index finger on the fifth fret of the third string here, and your ring finger on the seventh fret of the fourth string here. And you play through all these strings from string 5 to the first, uh, starting with the thumb here. Uh, but you hold your index, middle and ring finger on the one two, uh, strings 1, 2, 3 here. And you start it like this. you take your middle finger here and play the seventh fret and the sixth fret on the fifth string here so and then you continue from here uh, through all the strings again like this All the way back to the fourth string here and then it's repeat pretty simple and uh, so it if we would connect these two parts and if we would have a little <laughs> leg metronome here
continue to the third part. And here you have your basic uh, D minor chord, which is an uh, index on the first fret of the first string, ring finger on the second string, third fret here, and middle finger on the second fret of the third string. And then you have your right hand fingers on the fourth string, thumb, and again uh, index, middle, and ring finger on these strings accordingly. So third, second, and first string. And this is a really straightforward part. And you just repeat this. And let me show you. So you start from the D minor, then you slide your middle finger here to the third fret. So first you play like this, then you move it here, and then you take the fourth fret of the third string with your little finger here. So you have. Then you need to change the chord a little bit, and it's here. So here you have your index finger on the third fret of the second string, here. And then you have your ring finger on the fifth fret of the third string here. And the fifth fret of the first string with your little finger here. Just repeat this. And as you go forward, you can increase the power a little bit, just like in the original song by Metallica. part which is just your normal A minor chord and that would be middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string ring finger on the second fret of the third string and index finger on the first fret of the second string and again you have the same just like here through all these strings starting from the fifth string and you play fifth and fourth with your thumb so. so just up and down and then this uh, the other chord here is uh, you hold your you hold your ring finger on the second fret of the third string here, but you only move these two fingers here, but you move them here. So first fret of the fourth string uh, index and first fret of the second string, your middle finger. So you alternate these a little bit uh, from the original song 
because this is this whole practice is kind of a loop. So. And then you take the third fret of the sixth string with your little finger, but hold the A minor here. So you have to jump uh, over the fifth string here. You don't play this, so you play. can take your middle finger and little finger off all together but you move your middle finger to the second fret of the of the sixth string the pattern is the same all the time so After this, you take a bar on the first fret, like this, and hold your ring finger on the second fret of the third string all this time. And then you play. So that will be. Second frets, um, middle finger on the fifth string, second fret, ring finger, fourth string, second fret, and index on the first fret of the third string here. And then you just play through all the strings, uh, starting with the thumb, and you play sixth, fifth, fourth string, and then the rest of the strings index, middle, and ring finger. And then with the middle finger you play the first string but take... Uh, what's it called in English actually? I don't know. But the twelfth, twelfth fret and you play it like this. So you just gently hold have your finger on top of the string, not pushing it down. So that will be. And yeah, you can do it with your little finger here. So. And then you start over. ways uh, or I mean uh, different amounts of, uh, of repeats I usually do the first part at least two times and then move move into the next section
right. So I think that does it. Mm, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you benefit from it and add in a pretty cool way to practice Arvecchio. And see you next time.